Hi, this is Stephanie Lotvin of Telebeam Knits, and today I'm going to show you how to work row one, the setup row of section 18 of the grand opening shawl. If you are working from the Suburban Stitcher advent calendar and you have not yet opened days one through 18 of your yarn, I suggest you pause the video here. Once you've opened those yarns, come back and you can watch this video and we can work the setup row together. Okay, let me show you where we are. I have here the grand opening shawl. You'll have to forgive me, it's getting rather large, so it's start starting to get tricky to fit into my video. Okay, this is the right side of my work. I'm ready for a right side row and I have completed day 17, section 17 of the grand opening shawl. Now I am ready for row one, the setup row. To begin, we're going to place the first half of our stitches onto a piece of scrap yarn. Then we are going to work one increase, remove the stitch markers and work across the stitches that are on the left hand side of our work. For section 18, we're going to just be working the half of the stitches that are showing on the left hand side of our grand opening shawl. So to begin, you're going to need a tapestry needle and we're going to place the first half of our stitches on to our tapestry needle so that we can have them on a piece of scrap yarn. Just like we did before, we're going to slip all of our stitches purl wise without changing the orientation of our stitches. We're going to remove this stitch marker and place a removable stitch marker onto our scrap yarn so we can keep this piece of scrap yarn in place as a lifeline. And then we will continue to slip our stitches until we reach the second stitch marker that is on our needles right now. And it will be the stitch marker just before the central stitch.
All right, I have slipped all of my stitches onto a piece of scrap yarn and I'm just going to pull that, one of my stitch markers jumped right off my needles. Just going to pull that scrap yarn through. And now I have those stitches on scrap yarn. And you can see I'm at the center of my shawl where the central stitch is located. I have a stitch marker on either side of that central stitch and I am ready to join color 18. I am going to work an increase here just before the stitch marker. I'm going to work uh, make one right when I join color 18. And now I'm going to remove this stitch marker. I'm going to knit one be knitting my central stitch and then I'm going to remove the second stitch marker and then I'm just going to knit across my stitches until I reach the last stitch marker and I'll be using color 18 
Okay, I have knit to my final stitch marker. I'm going to work a yarn over. I'm going to slip that stitch marker, knit one, two, and then knit two together. I've completed the setup row, so let me lay this out so I can show you what you should have on your needles. Okay, I have here the finished setup row. I have the first half of my stitches are on a piece of scrap yarn. I have a removable marker where the original marker was placed so that I can leave that lifeline in place. I have no stitch markers at the point of my shawl now because I have all of these stitches that are on the left hand side of my work on my on my needles and I have one stitch marker marking the edge of my garter border and I have just completed the setup row of section 18 of the grand opening shawl and I am ready for a wrong side row Right now, the right side of my work is facing me, and I'm ready for row two of section 18, day 18. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.